I'm working through the Doppler effect question in the 2019 physics paper. The Doppler effect section has a multiple choice question, which is question 1.6, which reads as follows. A police car with its siren on is traveling at a constant speed towards a stationary sound detector. The siren emits sound waves of frequency F and speed V. Which one of the following combinations best describes the frequency and speed of the detected sound waves? So we know that the sound emitted by the police car siren does not change. We know that the only reason why it changes is because it is moving relative to the observer. It is the observer that is detecting a different frequency. So because we have been told the police car is moving towards this observer, those waves are obviously going to bunch up, which means that the observer is going to detect a higher frequency. And obviously this has no effect of the speed of sound through air, which means that our correct option is option D. Important here to note that this is only the detected frequency that changes. It does not mean that the frequency that is emitted actually changes. So the answer to question 1.6 D, you'll note that I prefer to read the question and then consider what the answer should be before moving on to the options because the options can often be quite confusing and I encourage you to do the same. Then question 6 in the physics paper is always the question on Doppler effect and so question 6 reads as follows. The siren of a police car which is traveling at a constant speed along a straight horizontal road emits sound waves of constant frequency. Detector P is placed inside the police car and detector Q is placed next to the road a distance away from the car. The two detectors record the changes in air pressure readings caused by the sound waves emitted by the siren as a function of time. The graphs below were obtained from the recorded results. The first graph, air pressure versus time recorded by the detector in the car, this detector is going to detect the sound as it is given because there is no relative motion between the car and this detector, which means that this detector is telling us what wave is actually being emitted. Graph B, air pressure versus time recorded by the detector Q next to the road. This is going to be affected by the Doppler effect because there is relative motion between the car and this detector that is placed next to the road. Question 6.1. Different patterns are shown above for the same sound wave emitted by the siren. What phenomenon is illustrated by the two detectors showing different patterns? And the phenomenon here is obviously the Doppler effect. The Doppler effect is the perceived change in frequency as a result of relative motion between the source and the observer. Question 6.2. The police car is moving away from the detector. This makes sense to us because as we can see, graph B has a frequency that is more spread out than graph A. Use the graphs and give a reason why it can be confirmed that the police car is moving away from detector Q. And as we've just said, we can either say that there is a longer period detected by Q, as we said here, Detector Q is de detecting either a longer period detected by Q. We can also say that this longer period results in or is the result of a longer wavelength that is detected by Q. And it would also be acceptable to say here that there is a shorter frequency. So any one of these to show that you understand that as the object moves away, it is going to stretch out the period wavelength and decrease the frequency. Question 6.3 asks calculate the frequency of the sound waves recorded by detector P and there are a number of options and ways to do this but what we can see here we are looking at detector P which is this graph A over here and the information that we have been given is the amount of time it takes to complete one wave and we know that the definition for that or that is defined as the period so since we know the period we can use the formula frequency is the inverse of period 
the period is the time taken to complete a single wave and so we can say that is 1 over 17. Important to note this is all multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 4 which tells us that the frequency here was 588.24 hertz rounded to two decimal places. We could also have used the formula V is equal to lambda over the period and once we have determined the wavelength because we have period and velocity of sound in air we could then have used the formula V is equal to F times lambda. All of these were acceptable answers. This is just the simplest. Question 6.4 now states Use the information in the graphs to calculate the speed of the police car. Take the speed of sound in air as 340 meters per second. So we are using the Doppler effect calculation here. And what we first need to do is we need to determine what the frequency that is detected is. And so we would use the same calculation as we used in the above question, except now we're using it for detector Q. And that once again tells us f is equal to 1 over the period, where in this case it is now 18 times 10 to the negative 4 seconds, which then tells us that the frequency that was detected by detector Q is 555.56 hertz, again rounded to two decimal places. Now that we know what the frequency is that is being emitted, and the frequency that is being observed, we can use our Doppler effect equation, which tells us that the frequency that is observed is equal to the speed of sound in air plus or minus the speed of the observer over the speed of sound in air plus or minus the speed of the source multiplied by the frequency that is emitted. Now, we have been told that the detector is stationary. We have already calculated that the speed of sound, the frequency that is detected is 555.56. The source is stationary, which means that its velocity is zero, so it is 340 plus or minus zero, over the speed of sound in air plus or minus the speed of the source, which is what we are trying to find and we need to now determine whether or not this is going to be a plus or a minus. Fortunately, we already have the frequency that is given off by the source as 588.24 hertz. And so what we can do here is we can use logically see that this 588.24 must be multiplied by a number that is smaller than 1. And the only way for this number to be smaller than 1 is if this is 340 plus the speed of the source or the speed of the police car and then that allows us then to solve to find that the speed of this police car is 20 meters per second. Uh, there is a range here depending on how you have rounded your answer that could have ranged anywhere between 19.57 and 20.09 meters per second. Important that I encourage you to use the logical method here where we determine that this is a plus instead of a minus by looking logically and saying 588 must be multiplied by a number that is bigger, that is smaller than 1 in order to get it to equal 555 and the only way that's possible is if the denominator is bigger than the numerator in this equation. A common question that is asked in Doppler effect that is not asked here would be for an explanation of what is happening and normally an explanation would require that you show or explain that as a source and observer move towards each other the waves bunch up and we say the frequency increases and wavelength decreases or as they move away from each other the waves spread out and therefore frequency decreases and wavelength increases.